Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome in our program, Syria Insider Weekly, the distinguished Canadian-American journalist, Eva Partlett, who is well known for her objective coverage of the events of Syria, especially her sincere efforts to, ex to expose the Western falsehoods and fabrications about Syria. Eva Partlett, I'm glad to have you here in our program. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like to begin by asking you about the Syrian presidential elections uh, held last week. Since you have been here on the ground witnessing and covering the voting process, how do you see the high turnout among Syrian voters and what is the message sent by the Syrians to those you call Syria haters after President Assad's landslide victory? Yes, well, I would start by um, noting that the countries that I'm from, America and Canada, um, before the last presidential elections in 2014, they closed the Syrian embassy specifically to prevent Syrians from exercising their, their right to participate in democratic uh, presidential elections. So my comment about Syria haters has to do with that. And in general, the coverage of Syria, which in Western media has excluded the vast majority of Syrians, not giving them a, vo a voice. And by doing so, they're excluding the fact on the ground, the reality that Syrians overwhelmingly chose uh, the president, Bashar al-Assad, and respect and love him. And I, I, I consistently tell people outside of Canada, or outside of Syria, I should say, um, that this is the reality. I mean, I've been hearing this since I came here in 2014. So for me, the, the importance of the, these elections was both to uh, both a show of defiance um, to the West and allied nations that have been warring upon Syria for a decade, um, and also just something beautiful. I mean, I've seen in, in the course of my many visits to Syria, I've seen and heard many terrible things, and Syrians have paid a great price in defending their sovereign state. Um, and again, uh, all respect to the martyrs in Syria who have defended your country. Uh, so you've paid a heavy price, but on election day, in the days after, it was just a joyous scene, you know, just seeing Umayyad Square near us, uh, seeing it filled with Syrians, celebrating. And uh, so for me, this is what um, was really mm -hmm. most momentous. So in your opinion, what is the importance of the of the re-election of President Assad, um, despite the uproar, uh, all, all the uproar in the West? Well, it just shows the West that, you know, they can fund and arm and send uh, terrorists from around the world into Syria, but they, and, and like I said, they can make Syrian civilians and, and Syrian um, um, soldiers and all of Syria pay a heavy price, but they, they could not succeed in their mission to install a puppet government mm -hmm. to rule Syria. Um, so Syrians have spoken with a very loud and unified voice saying, no, we decide our future, and our future right now is with President Bashar al-Assad. So do you expect any major change in the way the U.S. and Europe deal with Syria after millions of Syrians took to the streets saying no to the Western imperialist um, hegemony on their country? I'm, I'm sorry to say, no, I don't expect a change. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to be naively optimistic and say I do, but the fact is um, America continues to occupy Syrian soil, as does Turkey, as you know, and um, the EU is talking about, you know, like they're all imposing sanctions on the Syrian people. The EU mm -hmm. wants to send money to areas not under the control of the Syrian government. So it, it's clear that, unfortunately, they want to um, extend the pain and suffering of Syrians. Um, I do hope, though, however, the alliance that Syria has built with um, their regional allies will uh, continue to bring positive changes to Syria um, re, um, in the infrastructure, in enabling Syrian refugees to return home, and in you know, positive political developments. So why do you think the Western government hate to hear the truth about Syria? Uh, you have been yourself subject to harsh criticism because of uh, your role in exposing the lies and uh, the false videos of the white helmets about the alleged chemical weapon in Syria. Uh, the West hates to hear the truth about Syria because, again, they had this project, as we, we all know now by 2021, and we should have known fairly early on in the war against Syria. Um, they had a project to destabilize your country, to divide your country, to make it into a sectarian nation, which Syrians rejected. Um, and their, their project failed. Um, and so when somebody speaks the truth, when somebody says, actually, this is what Syrians want, they don't want 
these foreign actors to come into the country and rule over them and impose Sharia law over them. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to live as they've always lived. Okay. Um, so, of course, the West would hate to hear those truths. And, and, and in and attacking the messengers, not myself only, of course, many, many journalists and people who have spoken out about Syria have been severely smeared. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we know that what we're saying is the truth. So the EU has just extended the legal and immoral sanctions on Syria. What is the message to those governments who claim to be defending democracy while at the same time they are inflicting uh, suffering, um, starvation on the Syrian people, I mean ordinary Syrian people? Absolutely. The message is those governments are liars and hypocrites. They don't care about Syrians. And, uh, by imposing more and more sanctions against the Syrian people, they, they say they're, they're doing it to target the, the government. I won't use the word that they use because it's disrespectful. But um, th they know full well that they're uh, attacking your economy, and they know full well that's going to create incredible pain amongst ordinary Syrians. And so this is why I say again, those governments, including my own especially, are hypocrites. And if they ever cared about Syrians, they would stop occupying your land and lift the sanctions. Finally, a word that you want to tell to the Syrians who are watching us and um, who feel grateful for your effort to expose the truth. Um, no, it's the other way around. Uh, we around the world feel grateful to Syrians. This might sound corny, but really, people around the world were amazed at the resilience of Syrians. Again, both Syrian civilians, army, and leadership, mm -hmm. because it's been 10 years of war against you all with the most powerful nations on earth, and you stood strong and tall. So you really gave people, gave people outside of Syria hope that, that things can change, that the hegemony of America cannot continue. So I would say on behalf of people who follow my work, um, thank you to Syrians. Thank you for your time, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.